These are two planters full of succulents that was affected recently by too much rain, too much frost, fungus, and mold. These plants have a lot of issues, but I can see that they are still alive. So a couple of days ago, I made a video of my succulent pesticide and fungicide, which is methylated spirit or denatured alcohol base. And it works really well for this scenario. So I already sprayed it a couple of days ago, and that's why the mold or probably the fungus here so or powdery mildew it looks like a powdery mildew before but then now see look at that so that actually sort of settled down and i will spray them again but i just want to show you the effect that this one was full of fungus before or mold this one is uh root rotting or it rotted but of course see the fungus here it has settled down after being sprayed by my succulent pesticide fungicide solution. So now I'm going to clean this all up and show you what else can be done. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this one is the Atlantis. So my lights are really, really bad. I'm trying to do this during the day, but it's been overcast the whole day because it's been raining. And I have already taken this out of the rain because if I left this or I leave them where they were, the, this will just continue to rot. So the best course of action is to actually remove it from the rain and let them dry up. So this one now, this Atlantis or Peaches and Cream, I'm um, just, see, look at that, see, all of that, so half of this part here got sprayed and they actually sort of flattened and settled down. That one was not sprayed because it's under the leaves and you can see that that mold there or fungus is still active, that's still alive. But anyway, we're going to put it in this container here. Anyway, so this one, we'll see if we can save this one so I'm just oh look at that all mushy look at that very very mushy 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 okay the Tokyo Olympic is on soon that's why I'm practicing <laughs> my Japanese okay so this one now we're gonna put that there and that one that's ready. Deado. This one is no good. That's already dead, but we'll see. Hopefully there's some babies in the bottom, but no such luck. You have babies? No. So this one is already dead and I can see, oh, there's a bit hard bits there. So I'm just going to remove the top and see if that will still survive. And I'm just going to continue to clean this all up. So this is my intermediate succulent soil mix and you can see bits of granite and whatever but anyway so this one's now once they get like that there's no hope on earth <laughs> that that's gonna live but this one here this even though that looks bad that might still survive so we'll give it a chance I thought I have a couple of pretty pots of this Atlantis, but maybe I was wrong. Anyway, so maybe these are the only Atlantis I've got. I got one pretty pot over there that was also affected, but it still got a lot of live babies, so that should grow next year. And, okay, this one now, they're not going to grow. See how that's really bad. So we chuck that away or throw that away. And this one that is well, you can see that's all rotted. So we get rid of that. So a lot of you who have succulents that this would happen to would probably be in tears right now. Now with me, I would be too if I was here. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you feel bad. But this 
things happen. It's unavoidable. I look at it as buying a cup of coffee. So how many cups of coffee am I not going to have now? So that's one cup, two cups, three, four, five, six. Oopsie. Something fell over there. Six cups of coffee that I'm not going to have. I'm just going to bring water with me <laughs> instead of buying coffee. Oh, but this one, hang on. Oh, just dropped. But that one, uh, I thought it might be all right. But see the corner there? It's sort of affected, the center there. I'm going to save this. I'm going to let it dry up and see what happens. So, I'll just put it here for now. And, so whatever leaves I could save. That one, or that one would make good babies. And, that one's no good. That one's no good. No good. That one is still good. Ooh, no good. Have you got more no good? Well, that one's already good, I think. So, that one I clean up more in the bottom. And this one's the same. So, when you have a rich soil like this, this is what happens. They will rot if they get given a lot of water. So... That's why it's best to keep your succulents on dry. I never had this happen to me before because we had drought uh, since a couple of years ago. We've had drought. And last year, 2020 and this year, we had nothing but rain. So this is the first time I've experienced root rotting. Plus, I wasn't here. I was away. So if I was here, I could have put this away. But since I don't know whether it's going to rain or not... Instead of letting my succulents die from dehydration, <laughs> I'd rather they die from root rot, so I don't know which is worse. But if I put it away somewhere, this could actually have survived without being watered for another five months. But I just didn't have any room to put them anywhere, so I left them where they were. So... If you have soil mix that's planted, or, or you, if you use a big pot like I do here, then you can afford to put your succulent somewhere dry. Don't put it out in the rain. And the only reason why I put mine in the rain, because I don't know when I'll be back. But I don't know if it's fortunately or unfortunately or luckily or unluckily that I have to come back sooner that I am faced with this problem now. It's not a problem. There's no problem, there's only solution. So anyway, just clean this all up and I'll come back to you once it's all done. And also this one, I'm just gonna hack this quickly. Oops, oh, see you can see, I can see some mold in there. So now I have to spray that with, there you go, my solution. And that will just kill the mold and also, I put it in my little tub here, away from other plants. I don't have any other plants except these two here. Uh, that way, they don't infect my other plants. Because the spores will travel through the air via wind and in the soil. So the soil, this soil here, <coughs> I think I inhaled one of the spores. But anyway, mold and fungus is not really good for your health anyway as well. So, <coughs> That's why you have to handle this with care. I should be really wearing a mask. But anyway, I've already inhaled. See that? That's bad news. So do not inhale it. Because some people are actually sensitive to this. But it's a good thing. I'm tough. Now we clean up. We clean up. So uh, remember this. Because when I come back, it will be all nicely cleaned up. I have now finished removing most of the offended leaves. The one that has rotted away. And all I'm left, a few plants that doesn't have any leaves in the bottom, but they still got the top leaves, which uh, would still continue to grow when the weather warms up. Because it's winter here right now, and they tend to go dormant in winter when it's cold. And if the temperature rises, then they will 
wake up again and start growing again. I got a couple of issues here with my Minima Cross Secunda Lara. I need to chop this one off because this one here is not very good. But anyway, so first what I really want to do is remove all these plants in this pot here. Uh, remove them and dry them. So remove the soil, remove them from the soil. But I need to dry out the soil because it's pretty wet. So what I like to do first is just spray them with my methylated spirit solution. So I've done a video of this one. So please check the link below the video for that video of my succulent, fungicide and pesticide solution. So I'll spray the whole lot and this will actually help them dry up much faster. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the the red tips on that one. So anyway, this one here, this one here that's really rotted. So if you have a look in the bottom, that's just black. So I'm just going to see if I could save it. So I'm going to chop it off with my scissor. And that is a gonna, but, but there's still hope. This is Colorata F. Alinsiana. And this Colorata F. Alinsiana have experienced the same rotting issue as the other plants that I cut the top off. So it rotted and I remove as much of the offending top as I can. And this is what happened. It grew some babies on top. But this just goes to show you that if you are experiencing rotting, root rot, or rotting on the leaves or because of too much water or whatever other issues even mealybug can rot your plant then if you apply the solution and follow the same instructions i have uh, as shown in this video then your plants have a chance have a chance of growing some more babies and this one now from one plant i have now one two three four five six and maybe more at the back there because I can see some baby leaves at the back. And, oh, look, even one leaf. Okay, that one is a bit soft. I'll remove that one. Oh, there's another baby. Look at that. How about that? So that one's got one baby. So now I have more, 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 more babies. So don't fret if you have root rot because that's an opportunity for you to grow more succulents. So I'm just cutting away to see. Normally I would just throw this out because it's much easier to just grow them from leaf and I still have a few but I want to see if this will grow. So I have in the past strip everything off like this and the plant still grow or grew now this one that leaves is a bit suspect which means i'm not too sure if that's going to grow or not but i think that might be rotting as well and this one as well so uh, hang on nah there's no chance anymore because the core if the center is all dark like that there's no point trying to save that so i might as well take the leaves off that's in here that might still be good see then oh that one there is no good there you go and that one is still good 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 and these baby leaves that once rotted they actually will grow much quicker than the older leaves. So anyway, so half of that, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Half of that will grow and the other half will die. But I'll just dry them here because I already sprayed this stuff. I'm going to put that in there. And the next one, see this one here, I need to pull that out. Let it sit there. Take that off. And since I want to dry them i'm gonna let them dry here overnight because it's pretty late at night i need to get some sleep and <laughs> uh, so I just pull them all out because i'm going to remove them from this soil and so as oh this one the peaches and cream just pretty set in 
so I'm gonna leave those ones so if they grow they grow if they don't they don't but the soil they need some air circulation so it was tightly packed before and that's why the fungus grew because of that as well plus the moisture so if it's dry the fungus can't live on it or the mold can't live on it and if they lack air circulation then of course that encourages fungus and mold growth now with this one now my Paraguayensis cross spectabilis here. I've already cleaned this all up. So this one is Prolifica. Prolifica is quite a fast grower. So even a small leaf like that, that will grow into a baby. You just drop it. You don't even need to plant it. <laughs> they will just take off. That's why they're called Prolifica. That means prolific grower. And also while I'm here, my Stali, my Sedum Stali here, this one, this gorgeous one. They're not affected, but I want to propagate them. So I'm going to take some cuttings and also put it here. And the top one is so cute. Look at that. So, and these ones, I'm just going to strip the whole lot because every single leaf of this will grow. I only started with, I'll just drop that there, although that's not going to grow the stem. So I just started with, uh, that one's got roots, but I'm going to chop that off. And this one, propagate. They're fast grower. So anyway, there's more. Chop, chop. I'll just chop them off. And I'll deal with them later on. And that one here, anything that's sort of gangly or getting out of hand, we might as well chop it. The Jinmi Atenyo, this one actually, just I thought it was a candy, but it's actually Jinmi Tenyo. It's like, gimme, gimme, gimme Tenyo. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a Britney Spears song. Uh, okay, that one, chop, chop. And is there more chop chop? Any long bits? We chop chop. There you go. And more propagate. So with this one now, I have taken most, I can't see any moldy leaves anymore, but I still would like to propagate this so I can't see any moldy leaves or anything like that. So I'm just going to chop this off because this is like a branching plant. So you can see from the back there, that's a bit soft or needing water but that's been attacked by something some birds or maybe snail no it could be birds so this one i'm gonna put them here and note that i already sprayed this earlier as well so this one already dries so the methyl solution actually dries look at that white so you can touch it and you can see the farina sort of comes back if you use it so now this one chop chop and then this way they can breathe and nothing will grow and would we'll remove some leaves for propagation and this is a mendosa here that's out of bounds so might as well chop chop that and that one's pretty but it's growing out there as well I just hit the one of the leaf a uh, couple of leaves falling off and again prolifica I'm just going to throw that in there. Oh, I've got a brown rose. This is actually a brown rose here. So I didn't even notice that. So anyway, the brown rose is good. It's not rotting, but I'm still going to spray the whole lot. This stuff is really, 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 really good for them. So, and the soil as well. It dries the soil and kills any fungus, bacteria, COVID. This is basically ethanol or ethanol base. It's good stuff and it doesn't hurt our succulents. And that's it. So this one's now, once it dries up, I'm going to transplant it. So maybe tomorrow or the next day when I have the time, then I will transplant that into another pot. And of course, I'm going to wash off all the soil that it's got with my seaweed solution. Let it dry and then plant it in. So that's all you need to do dealing with this one and my 
label or my sign is already weeping because of that because it's wet so it's a solvent basically that doesn't hurt the succulents so anyway this thing really I need to repot that because that's so pretty look at the color it's gorgeous the tips are red okay